So people were saying you're selling rags. Yes. So I, uh, I don't, um, the price I make don't deserve what I sell is bullshit. <laughs> you, you cannot, I, they told me I will only make one or two years and everybody will forget Nana what because uh, it, I don't make something good or uh, it's, uh, everybody make it. How can, me can, I can raise my brain. It will not work. Everybody told me like this. And 10 years later, I still there with God. Hello, my name is Maureen. I'm 35 years old. I'm uh, owner of the clothes brand Nanawax. And I love uh, real estate too, to make over and make a decoration. And uh, I will, I don't know. Ah, sorry for my English, all the video. <laughs> Maureen. Yes. How are you doing? Fine, and you? I'm good. I love your house. Thank you. That's a beautiful luxury house. Huh? Thank you. you. You design it yourself? Yes. Interesting. You know, I came from Ghana. I've heard a lot about you. You're so famous, by the way. You know that. Uh, I don't know. I am famous in Ghana. I don't. No, you, you, you're famous. I, I'm coming from Ghana. Mm -hmm. Are you not the woman behind Nana Wax? Mm -hmm. yeah, are you the one? See, she's trying to be humble. She's actually, <laughs> <laughs> she's actually the woman behind one of the biggest fashion brands in Africa called Nana Wax. Initially, when I saw Nana, I thought it's a Ghana brand. Ah. Oh. No, but uh, Ghana, uh, Togo, Benin, same language. So in my country, Benin and Togo, we speak uh, Mina. Okay. Mina is like Eve, Ewe. Eve. Yeah. So I understand small Ewe. So, so that's, that's why Nana is the same thing. Nana in, in uh, Mina, it's, uh, it's like the queen of something. Exactly. So in yes. Ghana, Nana means queen. Mm. And we're from the wax. Yes. So, Nana wax. Queen of the wax. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to say you're amazing. You, you've done incredible stuff. That's why I'm here today. Okay. I want you to tell me more about yourself, especially how does it feel like being a female entrepreneur in Africa? Um, my name is Maureen. Mm. I'm 35 years old. I'm an entrepreneur. I have a brand label and a house uh, for house label. I don't know how to say. And uh, be a woman entrepreneur in, in uh, Ivory Coast, there is no problem. You can be entrepreneur if you're a man or woman and you don't have discrimination of, in my case, I didn't um, be discriminated mm -hmm. of being a woman in uh, my work. But sometimes like when I build a house, the, when I work with man, they say, no, you don't know, you don't know, we, we know because you, you are a woman, you don't know about uh, <laughs> how to build a house or to have a point of view on something. Oh, wow. But uh, there is only small, small thing. It's not, I don't know how to say blockage. It's not like, it's yeah, not yeah, a yeah. stop to, to work. Okay. Apart from fashion, what else do you do? Uh, fashion, uh, design, home design, hmm. and a kitchen. Wow. Okay. Now I can see why you have this beautiful kitchen. Uh -huh. Incredible. You, you, you designed this by yourself? Yes. On my laptop. You went to school to learn how to design? No. I check a YouTube channel <laughs> and uh, I do it by myself. Really? Yes. What about your Nana Wax? You also check on YouTube to get the brand itself? Uh, no. Uh, to, to get the brand, I, it's not YouTube. It's a small, small work and small, small experience and learning, but uh, no school of design or let's, entrepreneur. Let's start from here. So tell me more about how it all started. The journey 
of Maureen? Uh, it starts uh, with the Facebook group because before we don't have a Facebook uh, fan page, everything, mm. it was only group. So I had a group named um, I Love African Print. In French, it's what it means. J'aime le pain de chez moi. Mm. I, I love uh, prints of, of my country, of my, where I live. So I, I make, yeah. make posts about uh, different brands who use uh, African print or wax, and I talk about it. And when I do my own clothes for myself, I put the picture on this group. Mm -hmm. And people ask me, where can I buy, where can I buy? And I say, no, I don't sell it. It's just to show you. So you can take the picture, print, and make a screen record, uh -huh. show your tailor to Make it uh, for you. Yes, make it for you. It was just for this, but people ask me a lot, a lot, and when I have to go to make a stage, I don't know how to say stage. Internship. Internship in, um, uh, I don't remember the country. I have to make an internship, and I need some uh, money to live there because uh, I don't have a lot of money. And I, say, and I think the picture my, my uh, follower ask me a lot, I will go back in Benin, produce some picture, and after um, I will go back to France, and I wrote a message on the, um, Facebook and say, I have some uh, dress, you can come at this address to buy it, and there, is, there was uh, like 20, uh, 200 people came to buy like 20 dress. Really? And it starts like this. W w which country? In France or? In France, in France. I sell it. In, I, I produce in Benin. Okay. With my teller, and I go get, get back to, uh, to uh, US, uh, Paris, okay. and I sell it. You're based in France? Yes. For how long? Um, three years. Three years? Yes. And you decided to come back? To come back to produce some um, clothes and get back in France, sell it to to pay my internship fee. What, what was the internship fee? Was it was it in Africa? Uh, no, it was in. Um, J'ai oublié le pays en plus. Bul Bulgarie, Bulgarie. Oh, uh, Bulgaria, yeah, B yes. Bulgaria, yeah. Yes, and yeah. I I was studying um, deaf people language. Ooh. So I have to make the internship in Sofia, and I can sell it because uh, I sell, I sold all my dress, and people ask again. So I say, okay, I will use the three, four months to make another clothes to have more money, and after make the internship, and I never make the internship. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only make <laughs> Nana ones <laughs> since ten years. Nah. That was ten years ago. Yes. So you, you stopped the internship? Yes, everything. And you built your own brand? Yes. Out of Facebook groups? Yes. That's incredible. But I, I also checked, you're also an Instagram influencer. Mm. Uh, no, I, yes, a little bit. I don't uh, make for money, so it's not my work. Just for fun? Yes. I checked on the internet, you have um, so like a, a property at a beach in Yes, Asini. Asini. Yes, Nana Home Asini. Are you also into real estate? Yes, I have uh, in Abidjan, I have seven apartments and one penthouse and in Asini I have uh, two houses. That's incredible. I mean, what really inspired you to venture into real estate then? Uh, I always loved um, mm, to make makeover of the oh. of space, okay. and I since I was young, I I was thinking if I have money, I will buy house and make makeover, or I will buy apartment, hold apartment uh, dirty and make change it, cha make change it, and I I start I start like this with a house. And uh, with apartment, so I buy apartment 50 square meter, and I uh, broke everything, and I make wow. makeover, and I buy second until seven, and I sold it, sold. Je sais pas comment on dit vendre. 
I sold some, I keep some on Airbnb, and I keep some for me. So the capital to build the house? Yes, is from Nanawax. Because I make private sale in a lot of countries. Um, I make in uh, New York, uh, Barbados, uh, Canada, Switzerland, Paris, uh, in Africa, South Africa, in Ghana too. Uh, in a lot of countries, Senegal, everything. So You see why I said you are famous in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> You've been in this industry for 10 years. Yes. Would you say it's so worth it? Yes. And is it profitable? Yes. How profitable? Uh, profitable, like I can buy a house. This house I visit one day and three days after I buy it. So it's profitable. Because I uh, save a lot of money in many years. So I can now use and invest in other stuff like real estate. But in, in, in Africa, when you see women or anyone selling clothes, we don't tend to respect them because they just sell clothes. Yes, for me, it's not a shame to sell clothes. Uh, when I start and a lot of people say, how you go uh, in France to study and now you are selling clothes, you are selling... They compare my, my clothes with duster. Oh. You buy, you, you study and now you are going to sell clothes like small girl in the street, you, you deserve more or something. I say, I don't care. If I can have money with this, if I love my work, I don't care about what people think. So when I start, a lot of people don't believe I can grow up with this. And today, wow. uh, when I see the people uh, with who I went to school or grow up, uh, nobody has what you made have. what you what I made without parents. Because me, I made it without parents, without without husband. I made it by myself, <laughs> and uh, the, I don't see anybody uh, <laughs> if, um, go this point. What are the worst things that you've ever heard about yourself, like? Westerns that you've heard about your business or yourself? Um, they say it's only when I start because today the, the lot of people who say bad things about me or my work today say, We're sorry. You close our mouth. Wow. Uh, they say, like the. Comment dit chiffon là? The, the, is it the debt? What was the Ça. I'm so sorry, but I'm doing this interview in. This, English. this. Oh, a duster, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Say me, I selling. Come, come, come. Yes. So guys, let's uh, so, so so this is what she's starting to talk about. Uh, a rug, yeah. So people were saying you're selling rugs. Yes. So I I don't um, the price I make don't deserve what I sell is bullshit. <laughs> you you cannot. Uh, they told me I will only make one or two years and everybody will forget Nana Wax because uh, it's, I don't make something good or uh, it's uh, everybody make it. How can me, can I can raise my brain? It will not work. Everybody told me like this. And 10 years later, I still there wow. with God. That's amazing. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> She says something, she made it without a husband. That's, that's, that's good. You know, people normally think that when a woman makes it, there's a man behind it. Yes. You did all of that by yourself. By myself. I have yes. so many young women that watch just my video. If you should tell them something, what would that be? Uh, I will tell her that you, you can, it's not a shame to have a man to help you. Okay. But if you don't have, you can start with, with the money or capacity you have and make it small, 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 and you will be more proud, proud of yourself to make it by yourself and say, I made by myself. It's not someone uh, who give me money mm. or use his relation to, to help me to, to raise or something. But it's not a shame to be helped 
by, by someone. But, but I, I know so many women that will be like, you know what, I'm not gonna work. My husband or that sugar daddy will provide. They yes. don't want to do anything. Me, I can't. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm not against the men. I have a man today. Okay. But uh, I can depend on some, someone or it's like I, I'm with a man and the man make bad things to me mm. or be uh, unfaithful, mm. something like this. And I say, oh, I can go because he, he make my business. He give me the money for my business. If I leave him, <laughs> I have nothing after. So you, are, you stay for the wrong reason. Okay. And me, I cannot stay with someone who treat me badly, bad. And uh, so I prefer to stay with someone for love or something and not be there for because of money or mm. because I'm slave, because he give me money, I cannot. So I always, since I was young, made all my business without anybody, only me and God. When you and see, my mother who helped me. And when you see yourself right now, what will you tell your 10 years ago self? Uh, I will tell the 10 years ago self that you got right, I don't know, tu as eu raison. You were, you were right. You were right. You were right and since 10 years and before, I'm very confident uh, woman. I know if I do something, I will not give up. I will keep uh, my teeth <laughs> here, I will not leave. So until I, I make okay. it, I will not leave. Sometimes I don't have, um, comment dit le moral? Uh, Sometimes I'm weak, uh, feeling, I can, uh, I, don't feel I don't feel good and I, and I have bad uh, experience and I say, oh, I will leave everything, I will, because I had uh, uh, trahison, je sais pas comment on dit. Uh, uh, Treason, yeah, treason. Treason, or oh, I, I had bad stuff who happened in life, like uh, everybody, and I said, no, I will stop everything, I'm tired, but I, I get back to myself and I say, no, you can't leave. You have to continue, and I always make like this. I want to know what has been the biggest challenge since you started. The biggest challenge is the people. How to manage people in Africa to don't be late, come to work, uh, make a, a good uh, cl uh, customer experience. Mm. It's the biggest challenge because to make a, a shop is easy. To um, produce clothes is easy. easy, but the 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 customer um, service it's challenging and wow. we still work on it every day every day on packaging on everything so which means money is not a problem uh, it, in nana works no it's not a problem i don't i i ne never had a bank uh finance come credit, yeah credit. no 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 bank gave you credit no never in 10 years i never asked and never had any credit bank or people credit i i auto yeah. finance yeah I don't know. Yes. you get you make the money and you use it to invest Again, back yes sorry I mean, for my english no it's okay you're doing well <laughs> how many people have you employed so far um i think uh, 40 40 people like this wow that's incredible see i know you don't have time but can we just Check out your house out? Yes, yes. You All can. right, you guys, come along with us. Here is the living room. Okay. Living room, and I don't, I don't want to have a house with a TV all the time. So, I want people come and we talk, we make games. No TV, TV all the time. Okay. So I don't put the TV, but I put a screen. So when we need to see football match or something, we <laughs> make on this with the retro the projector. projector. Yes, that's incredible. Like, listen, look, I, I never expected this. Whoa, look at that. Yes, nice.
I will definitely do this in my house. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not expensive. You really? see like this, but it's not expensive. It's not expensive. I pay like oh, uh, wow. three hundred dollar to so, have the screen. You live and in a smart house. Everything is automated. Yes. Even the and curtains. It can connect with uh, Wi-Fi. This is a dining table. Uh, dining table. It's um, uh, a um, dining table, mm. fait sur mesure. Mm. It's uh, made in Mali. Okay. And take a camion, je sais pas comment on dit camion. A truck. A truck and bring to Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast for me here. Wow. It's a Malian designer, Fatuma Aidara. She made for me and the tableau. This and all the table with a very good uh, wood. Wood. Yes. From Mali. Yes, from Mali. Mali Empire. Yes. So here it's my favorite part of the house because I really love to cook. All the time I cook days, nights, in in the middle of the night I can cook. <laughs> so I cook all the time. So I made um, my kitchen okay. uh, to be uh, easy to use and with uh, smart using so the dining dinner table is here so here i have all uh, my um, uh, uh yeah the, plate, the plates um, yes. bowls yes wow Everything so you take here, it here and you we see? can do directly here uh, i have my fridge here like Ooh. this and uh, so when i cook here I have a... When you make the vapor go shh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's come here directly. You put it down. Instead of going up. Mm. Oh yeah, the, 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 the fumes from the, the vapor it's, from the you food. You see, if there is inside. So, no smell in the house. Even everything is closed, you don't have smell in the house hmm. because it's... Uh, it's going directly down yes. from here. Wow. So when I cook, I'm here. I use all my oil, everything is here, my utensils for cooking. Yes. So I make everything like this. That's the, that's the oil we're talking about. Mm. Voila. And all is, is like this. Do you do this just for yourself? Yes, just for myself. What about me? <laughs> <laughs> here, all my different... Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> Woo! Uh, yes, when I cook, I have my uh, electric uh, stuff to Be plug up. here. I have USB, USB-C to plug the telephone the, and mm -hmm. uh, the cook uh, machine, cooking machine. And you can uh, control with uh, Wi-Fi wi too, but I don't use Wi-Fi, I only uh, press, it. press like this. And uh, I really love glass, glasses, so... I have my glasses. Uh, wow. Uh, placard, je pantry, uh, I don't know. I have my glasses, all my glasses here. So we love uh, champagne here. So we have a lot of uh, champagne. And all here is champagne uh, glasses, but we don't use often. So I put upstairs. Oh. It's only when I make a party and something. How often like do this. you do parties here? Uh, yes, very oh. often, like, uh, to, uh, yes, every week. This weekend? Yes. So I'm inviting me. Eh? Yes, you can Even come. if you don't invite me, I'm inviting myself. Yes, you can come. <laughs> I make a iftar, Muslim, uh, yeah. but Muslim, Christian, everybody come because there is it. You can come. <laughs> so here you have my glasses, uh, pantry, I don't know. And here what? you have this. What do you mean? So you can come. That's a space! Yes. Oh my goodness! Wow! Oh! Oh my god! So it's like my, uh, I don't know in English. More like a storeroom for yes. everything? Yes. Oh wow! So I have my machine. I make my own pasta. So I make, I use my machine to make my pasta. All my machines are here. My drink, my champagne. And uh, everything I use to make uh, pastry. 
my tea, uh, this is my tea room, all the tea I, I, uh, I drink. Yeah. And uh, yes, the rice, the gari, everything we use to make African um, food, food and uh, Italian food, French food. So I stock everything here. So I don't need to go to the supermarket. And I, this, I have this machine to make fufu. Hmm, the fufu yes. machine. Yes, the fufu machine. It's incredible. Yes. I, I feel like I need to invite you mm -hmm. to Ghana because I'm, I'm moving to a new house. Okay. And after seeing this, I don't want anyone to touch my, <laughs> my kitchen. Can it be a deal? I'm going to invite you to Ghana. I to can, come. yes, I can. And I can make in distance or I can go to make. There is no, no, I, no, I got I, a I lot of no, hygiene. I, I don't want you to do it uh, in distance. I want uh -huh. you to, to be there. I, I want you to make my kitchen for me. Mm. Deal or no deal. They should deal, be, deal, deal. Deal? Deal. They, they're waiting for this, the next video of you making my kitchen for <laughs> yes, me. Yes, I will. Ah, voila. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, one thing that I want to say is that the room is like minimalist, but touch of luxury. It's not something huge, but I mean, every space that you go to has something unique in it. A bit of a style that I've never seen anywhere. Okay. It's incredible. I was not really expecting all that I'm seeing. You know, everything is just here. But so stylish, man. <laughs> That's more like a guest room. Yes. Wow. Ah, vraiment, si tu m'avais bien expliqué là, j'allais faire ça bien. Wow. Uh, you can, uh, faut lui dire de pas filmer genre no. ça là. Yeah. Okay, you don't show it's, uh, nothing. So here is a guest, guest room with a dressing. And uh, you have a desk to work. Uh, I, I feel like you love white. Uh, I love white and I love wood. So I often have, and I think for the guest room, mm. uh, because you don't know uh, your guest's mm. uh, taste, so I don't want to make a color who can be, who the guest will not love. Right. So I say make white, so it's, uh, white. yes, white and wood or color light, so it can be, everybody can love it. But this uh, guest room, for example, I made um, a design. It's a paint, handmade paint on the wall. And I made like this. What? Wow. Oh my God, man. This is in the bedroom, bro. Ah. Life is good when you have an architect as your wife. I mean, a room design, I mean, an interior design. You, you get to choose the taste that you want and she make it happen. I'm coming. Oh, hi. Hi. Okay. So here is my room. Your room? Yes. Jeez. That's incredible, man. I mean, you, you did everything by yourself. Yes. This is mind blowing. <laughs> Very minimalist. Yes. I, I told you I don't like big stuff. Yeah. And uh, too much color. I like simplicity. And uh, it's like here, you have my TV. Mm. And uh, if you are in the bathroom, or on the on the cabinet toilet and you want to see TV. We have, we have two you can turn it. And so here you have a mirror and other side when in, you are in the bath tube you can see the TV and here you can have the mirror. What do you mean? <laughs> if you are here oh on the God. bath tube you can check. Yes. You know what? I can spend the whole day in the washroom. 
Uh, on, uh, on hey, you know, you know <laughs> oh my it's goodness. <laughs> it starts from the bathroom? Oh my god! Yes, you can see it, you can have... From here? You, you have an outdoor shower? Yes, oh. I have. <laughs> because I really love Bali, Indonesia uh, yeah. architecture and they make a shower outside so I made the same for my man. He make a lot of sport outside and when he finished he take a shower before to come inside and after got another shower here so i put a shower outside and put and some you, and you know it's more like you can also shower whilst looking at the stars yes i did that in one country <laughs> oh my goodness this is incredible you know this is like a resort but you're living in your own house yes and it's uh, when you say about resort i have in my here my fridge to make my stuff, I have my <laughs> champagne if I want to drink some tea or something. And uh, here I have my dressing. You have here the clothes I wear all the time. I put all here. I guess you make your own clothes. Uh, not all. Some are my clothes. Some are another designer. But uh, I have a lot of Tana wax for sure. Ooh. And um, now here I have the real dressing. What? What do you mean? No way! <laughs> I just shouted. I'm so but sorry. put off your shoes. Sorry. What? <laughs> I know. <laughs> no way. The walk-in closet is hidden. Yes. <laughs> this is mind blowing, man. This is mind blowing. I. Please, I'm inviting you to Ghana. I'm serious. <laughs> okay. Wow. So you, you, don't, you don't do this for people, you just do it for yourself? Yes, only for myself. So I'll be the second person, eh? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, I, I'm just blown away. I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> if you have... Um, a message for Africans, mm -hmm. what would that message be? Uh, I, the message for me is to be excellent even no matter which work you make. Even if you sell tomatoes, sell the tomatoes like nobody else. Like when you go to the market, a lot of people sell tomatoes, onion, everything. But when you, you, you sell, you have to make a good customer service. You have to, to make like beautiful packaging so people say okay everybody sell tomatoes but i will buy with her because with her i got an, another experience or another packaging or another so whatever you you make when you walk make it with excellence and be uh, on time always on time because be on time is a good good thing in life and in africa we don't all everybody always late mm. And it's not a good thing. We mm. have to take the good stuff of another continent and bring to us. Because in Africa, we have a lot of uh, stuff, uh, a lot of good things, but we don't make uh, excellence a priority. So it's... How do you say that in French? Uh, faire de, faire de, du travail excellent. Toujours viser l'excellence, toujours essayer de s'améliorer. Always try to make a better work, better. Don't say, okay, what I do is good, it's okay. No, you it have to be better and better and better all the time because a lot of concurrence, uh, a lot of competition in in everything you do. Like I have a brand of clothes, but there is thousands and thousands of of brands. So if you want to stay in the game, you have to. All the time, change. make change, make yeah. new stuff, yeah. and be better in what you do. Where can we find the Nawax brand? Uh, I have shop in Ivory Coast, uh, Senegal, Togo, and Benin. And I have an online shop too. If you had a chance to change one thing in Africa, what will you change? The late of people. So Africans need to be punctual. <laughs> yes.
I want to say thank you so much for your Thank you. Me, and I really appreciate your time. Me too. Thank you.